Hi, my name is Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineer. Today, I'm going to present you a short video explaining how to use the fluid meshing option. Particularly, I'm going to explain the watertight geometry workflow. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Remember, we are Singularity Engineer. Welcome. The fluent meshing allows us to use a complete workflow from meshing to post-processing. It has two workflows, the watertight geometry and the fault tolerant meshing. Particularly, in this video, I'm going to explain the watertight geometry workflow. In the meshing process, no wrapping is required. Also, for single body, fluent meshing can handle any CAD model, and for multiple bodies, the shared topology is required for fluent meshing. Right now, I am going to explain which is the geometry I am going to use for this video and I am going to guide you step by step about how to do the mesh using Fluent Meshing. Please enjoy it. This is the geometry I am going to use for this video. As you can see here, this is a solid geometry. Then we have to extract the fluid part. This can be done uh, in a space claim, but also it can be done from fluid meshing. In this video, I'm going to explain how to do that in, inside fluid meshing. Let's do it. I would like to show you which are the name selection I'm going to use in, for this geometry. Then we have uh, two inlets. This is the first one. This is the second one and one outlet. Then we have a mixed a mixing T uh, with an outlet. Okay. Then it is important for the meshing processes to to have clear the, which are the name selections uh, I'm going to show you in, in the next slides of this video. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to open Fluent meshing. Let's do it. You can open the ANSYS fluid fluent meshing from the workbench. For do this, you only have to search it in the compute component systems. Then you search it here and you drag to the project schematic of workbench. Then you link the geometry to the mesh. And then right now you have the geometry load into the into the fluid meshing. You double click and you will see that the Fluent Launcher opens. This, this is the Fluent Launcher that you see when you open the setup because this is a, a workflow, then it guides you through the, all the process from meshing to post-processing. Here you can select the parallel options, you can select it for the meshing processes and for the solver processes. I'm going to click a value just for demonstration, 12 parallel processing for meshing and solver. Then I click start and the fluent meshing environment is going to be opened. We have to wait oh, just a short time. Here, the environment has been loaded. You see that the water tight geometric workflow is by default um, upload. This is the one I'm going to explain. Then the first step is to import the geometry. Here is the path. The path is already loaded because I linked the geometry with the mesh. Then I click in import geometry. Now you have to decide if you want to add local sizings. In, in, by default, is, is the option of no, but you can change this for yes, and this window uh, opens. Let me expand this. Then you have different options for 
size controls, for example, face size, body size, body of influence, face of influence, curvature, proximity. In this case, I'm not going to use any any of these uh, local sizing options. Then I am going to change this for no. But you can you can try all of them, and if you you feel that it's required to, to to use these local sizing options, then you can do it. Then the only thing you have to do is to change this for yes, and select all the options or or the configuration you want. Now, but this is no, then I update, and you see that this is already checked. Then I'm going to create the the surface mesh. Surface mesh. Then I see I want to use curvature and proximity size function. Uh, I can change here the maximum and minimum size of the cells. I, I'm not changing this. I'm going to work with the default values, and I'm just going to create the surface mesh right now by clicking here. We wait for a short time. And here we have our surface mesh. As you can see, the only thing is mesh is the solid. There is no fluid here. Then we have to describe the geometry. This is a very important step in the in the uh, in the water type geometry workflow. Then here in geometry type, uh, I select that the geometry consists only of solid regions. That's true. Um, uh, Fluent asks me if I will cap the, the openings, and then I select yes because this is the option that allow me to, to create the fluid regions. And these two questions I'm going to, to set the default answers. Then I describe my geometry, and here I'm going to, to cap or enclose my fluid regions. Then I am going to do using tables, then I select the first inlet. I will say that this is the inlet one and that is a velocity inlet then i click here and click three regions okay then you see here how this inlet was closed then i will do this with the other inlet this is for me the inlet two i create click close we wait and you see that this Surface is already closed and the outlet. I am going this for me the outlet one and this is a pressure outlet. Okay, then I enclose the region and that's it. I, I have closed all the, the surfaces. And what I have to do right now is to create regions. Then Fluent asks me to how many fluid regions I, I will have. In this case, all, the, all, all these pipes are connected. Then for me, it's just one region. Then I click in Create. And then I have here the fluid region created. Then I have a fluid region, that is this one. And I have a solid region, that is the, the ones uh the, the region that already existed before I do this process then i click update regions and i know that that i have my my fluid my fluid zones created okay then it's, it, that's very important to to see you know how how this 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 regions were created and and that i have already my my fluid region okay Right now, I Fluent asks me if I want boundary layers. In this case, I'm going to, to say yes. I'm not going to change this. Uh, this by default. Maybe I will change the number of layers, or you have the option of abstract ratio, less ratio, uniform, smooth ratio, for the for how the, the inflation is going to be done. And uh, here it asks me if I want the the boundary layer in the solid on the fluid region and then I select fluid region and it uh, grow on where only in walls is what I want to, to, to take into account the, the boundary layer behavior then I click add boundary layer okay and finally I am going to create my volume mesh remember that at this moment I only have the surface mesh then I have different options here to create the mesh, tetrahedral, head score, polyhedra, polyhead score. I'm going to choose this. 
uh, polyhead score. Uh, I will let this by default and I will create the volume mesh. Okay, here you, you have your your mesh. Uh, this is uh, the mesh you just created. You can see here that the minimum tonal quality is 0 0.39. If you maybe if you want to, to improve, this is a very good value, but maybe if you want to improve it, maybe you can insert a new task here. Right click, it's a new task, improve volume mesh, and maybe I don't know, let's say 0 0.4 and click in improve volume mesh. And this is, is an improved mesh with a 0 0.4 minimum orthogonal quality. It's a very good value. And that's it. You have now your volume mesh. It's a, a good mesh here. You have the inflation. You have the solid. You have the liquid or the fluid, so, sorry. And right now, the thing you have to do is to go to the ANSYS setup environment. Then for that, you, you click here, switch to solution. And you click yes, and you wait a short time, and you will see your mesh in the setup environment of Fluent. Here you have your mesh. This is the mesh we, we just created. It's a, here is the inflation, here is the solid, this is the fluid. And you click check performance check, everything is okay, and that's it. Right now, you can do your simulation, you can perform the setup and run your simulation, and after that, post processing. Well, I, I hope you, you have enjoyed this video. This is a very simple case, but I think it's, a, it's very useful for, for you for learning how to use the basics of ANSYS fluid meshing then I hope you, you have enjoyed it. Well, thank you very much for seeing this video. If you have any question, any comment, or do you want to know more about CFD, please let us a comment or visit our website or call us to our phone. Remember, this is Jesus Ramirez from Singularity Engineering. We are here to help you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.